I'm Terrell Spears and you're watching SAL News. In this episode, you will learn about public accommodation discrimination, find out why smoke detectors are so important and where in your home they should be placed, events at the library, and the 1960s part two. More than half of all fatal homes fire strike when, a, when people are asleep. The sooner a sleeping person wakes up and reacts, the greater his or her chance of surviving the fire. Smoke alarms can cut your risk of dying in a fire nearly in half. Fire safety experts consider smoke alarms to be the most effective, low-cost, early warning device available. They are easy to acquire and simple to install and maintain. Most people who die in home fires don't die in the room where the fire began. Smoke alarms alert you to developing fires even in faraway rooms and give you time to escape. When selecting alarms, be sure they bear the label of an independent testing lab. When it comes to placement of alarms, install alarms on every floor of your home, including the basement. Install an alarm outside each sleeping area, inside as well if the person sleeps with their door closed. On floors without bedrooms, install alarms in the living room and or near the stairway to the upper level. Don't install alarms closer than three feet from a kitchen or bathroom door. Don't install alarms in locations where the temperature may be too low or too high. When installing an alarm to a wall, position the top of the alarm four to 12 inches from the ceiling. When installing an alarm to a ceiling, position the alarm at least four inches away from the nearest wall. In a room with a pitched ceiling, mount the alarm at or near the ceiling's highest point. When it comes to maintenance, always save and follow the manufacturer's instructions for testing and maintenance. Test alarms monthly, Replace batteries at least once a year, and here are some suggestions. When you set the clocks back in the fall, or when the alarm chirps, letting you know that the battery is low. Replace any smoke alarm that is more than 10 years old. Clean your alarms regularly, following the manufacturer's instructions. You can sometimes use a vacuum cleaner without removing the detector's cover, and never paint a smoke alarm. The Salina Public Library has events for all ages. At the Technology Center, Gaming systems are available on PS4, PS3, Wii, and PCs. Drop in on Sunday from 1 to 6 p.m. The Genealogist is in. One-on-one -on -one genealogy classes will be held in the Campbell Room on Tuesday, September the 6th from 4 to 6 p.m. and Thursday, September 15th from 4 to 6 p.m. Register at the library. The Salina Arts Center Cinema on 150 South Santa Fe will be showing the film Namesake, which is rated PG-13, on Saturday, September 10th from 10 a.m. to noon. The admission is free. If you would like more information about the Salina Public Library's calendar of events and schedule, please contact them at 785-825-4624 or visit www.salinapubliclibrary.org. Federal and state laws prohibit discrimination against certain protected groups and businesses in places that are considered public accommodations. Generally speaking, it may help to think of public accommodations as most businesses or buildings that are open to the general public. More specifically, the definition of a public accommodation can be broken into two types of businesses or facilities government-owned or operated facilities and services and buildings, privately owned or operated businesses, services and buildings. Federal law prohibits public accommodations from discriminating on the basis of race, color, religion, or national origin. So if you think that you have been discriminated against in using such a facility, call the City of Salina Community Relations Division at 785 309-5745 or visit www.slina-ks.gov backslash community-relations. The 1960s continues with part two examining the tumultuous time in America with a focus on pop culture. Visitors will be greeted with what we call the colorful side of American culture. Sports, entertainment, music, arts and literature, and fashion are not only reflected in the times, but help to serve as a platform for individuals looking to make a statement about the world around them. From the Beatles to Bond, there will be a little of everything to spark your interest. For more information, contact the Smoky Hill Museum at 785-309-5776. I'm Trail Spears. Thank you for watching SAL News.